Hi everyone. Well, we're in Showbrook Park on another beautiful Saturday morning, and we're just outside Credit. Beautiful spot. I've done a lot of painting here before. Um, we're going to do another acrylic sketchbook study of the gatehouse this time, um, which is backlit. It's quite interesting, hazy light, and um, we'll see how it goes. Hooping away in the background. Love it. Love it all. Of me painting this gatehouse scene. Well, yeah. Time lapse. This is a time lapse, and that's um, an ordinary film. Yeah. In normal time, which I can't do the whole film because it just takes up too much memory, but. Um, yeah, I do quite a lot. I mean, I was in um, Newton St. Sires Churchyard oh, yeah. the other day, so did that one. Yeah, just all sorts of stuff, really. Yeah, and all not all uh, No, no, we're from Gloucestershire. We're just no, right. right. Nice just place. My daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, this is lovely. Here is as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, great. <laughs> well, all the best. So having pre-primed the page with a an orange glaze of acrylic, I start laying in the sky, which is a hazy yellow colour. Um, and, and as I said at the beginning, it's backlit. So I'm working with a half inch brush, just sort of working around the landscape, trying to draw in as I go. I've got to work over it a little bit here and there because the yellow is quite a it's transparent colour and um, takes a little bit to build it up. So now I'm introducing some bluish, almost turquoisey tones and colours to represent the distant hills uh, that I can see through the haze. It's all very light in value. This colour starts to deepen slightly as it sinks lower towards the horizon or towards the foreground even. Um, so I'm adding that in and working around the gate posts. Taking care to work, even using a large brush, working the edges up to those gate posts and drawing as carefully as possible. And so here we go into the time lapse just to review the beginning and then take it beyond where we went. Yeah, the old chainsaw going in the background. We're doing a cutting trees, trimming up the, tidying up the cricket ground behind me. And, uh, Chainsaws just tidying up a few branches and little bits of logging. And the other way, the scene is completely different. Just the light shining on it, but <clears throat> it's beautiful wherever I look. So we're taking the time lapse a bit further now and uh, trying to get remove as much of the orange underpainting, still allowing it to glow through, but trying to draw into the composition and get some of the large shapes down before we start adding further detail. Um, various little alterations will take place, like the top of that gate post, and just touching in here and there, trying to keep the whole the painting working and understanding the whole light situation as it develops. Some drawing in trees, fence posts, different compositional elements that made the whole, whole composition look interesting in the first place. So when you're painting plein air, lots of things like this happen. You get cars parking in front of you, um, or coming into the scene and making things look different. 
Um, you can't plan it. You've just got to try and go with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. Um, so I tried to go with it for a while and uh, the light kept changing upon it. Uh, as you can see at the moment, it got very bright highlights. It was almost dazzling and became a real distraction. So I tried to work around other areas and kept revisiting it. Um, just taking that light to ridiculous levels and then trying to work it out again and then trying to redraw the car. So it became a real distraction and then another one came along. So in the end, I just thought, no, let's remove it and go back to the original idea, which I think was really the best thing to do because it kept it nice and simple. I don't mind cars appearing in paintings. Sometimes they can add human scale to it, but not this time. So I hope you agree it works better without the car in it. Um, but I want to keep it in the video just to show you that these things happen. Hi there. Well, we've been here a couple of hours, possibly two and a half hours, had lunch, uh, enjoyed the backlit painting, um, spoke to a few people, people in the house. Cars have come and gone, painted them in, I've painted them out again. Um, but now I think the light's changed so much, I think we've got done all we need to do. And um, we may need to touch a few things up in the studio. Um, but it's quite a successful sketch. We'll go and see if we can find something else. I think there's still time, it's only 10 past 2, 20 past 2. So, uh, great. See you soon.